Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In today video I will show you the basic feature of PIC16 F877 microcontroller. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G and click on the bell icon. PIC16 F877 microcontroller. PIC16 F877 microcontroller is one of the most advanced microcontroller from microchip. This controller is widely used for experimental and modern applications because of its low price, wide range of applications, high quality, and ease of availability. It is ideal for applications such as machine control applications, measurement devices, and study purpose. Picture below show the PIC16 F877 microcontroller. Features of PIC16 F877 some of the remarkable features of PIC16 F877 microcontroller are listed below. 35 instructions are only there. Single cycle instructions are used here. While, 2 cycle instructions are used for program branches. Data memory RAM of 368 by 8 bytes, EEP ROM data memory of 256 by 8 bytes. Pinout compatible to other 28 pin or 40 and 44 pin. Voltage range of 2 to 5.5 volt. Low power, high speed flash technology. Low power consumption. Three timers are present, timer 0, timer 1, and timer 2. Two compare and capture PWM modules. Synchronous serial port, SSP. Universal Synchronous Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter with the capability of 9-bit address detection. Brownout Detection Circuitry. Analog Features. Analog Comparator Module Present. 10-bit, up to 8-channel analog to digital converter. Power Saving Sleep Mode. Watchdog Timer with RC Oscillator. Here is pin diagram of PIC16 F877 microcontroller. Pin 1 is master reset. Pin 2 to pin 7 is port A. Pin 8 to pin 10 is port east. Pin 11 is voltage supply. Pin 12 is ground supply. Pin 13 and 14 are RA6 and RA7. Belong to port A. Pin 15 to pin 18 is port C. Pin 19 to 22 belong to port D. Pin 23 to 26 belong to port C. Pin 27 to 30 belong to port D. Pin 31 is ground supply. Pin 32 is voltage supply. And pin 33 to pin 40 is port B. Input output port. PIC16 F877 has 5 basic input output port. These are denoted by port A, port B, port C, port D, and port E. These ports are used for input slash output interfacing. Port A start from RA0 to RA5. Port B start from RB0 to RB7. Port C start from RC0 to RC7. Port D start from RD0 to RD7. Port E start from RE0 to RE2. Features of input slash output ports. All these ports are bidirectional. Directions of ports are controlled by using TRIS registers. TRISA helps in setting PORTA direction. Likewise, TRISB, TRISC and TRISD set the direction of other ports. Reset. Whenever a microcontroller is running with any software, there is a possibility of the hanging of the software. Or due to spin lock, deadlock, and the program will not run so that the main task that this microcontroller was doing will stop. When we reset any microcontroller, it will change the stack pointer address to 0x0000000000 startup point memory, so that it can start from the main of the bootloader again. How to reset? The microcontroller can be reset during one of the following operations, power on reset, master clear reset, Watchdog timer reset, brownout reset, and reset instruction. Each reset will be having a memory address defined in the vector table of the microcontroller document. External reset. 
In some applications the microcontroller may have to be reset externally by pressing a button. Figure shows the circuit that can be used to reset the microcontroller externally. Normally the master clear input is at logic 1. When the reset button is pressed, this pin goes to logic 0 and resets the microcontroller. You can see in the diagram master clear pin connected with resistor and a push button. In normal operation this pin in at logic 1, plus 5 volt. When we press the switch it will set the pin at logic 0 ground voltage and microcontroller get reset. And start the program from bootloader. Clock source. Every microcontroller needs a clock source. The CPU, the memory bus, the peripherals clock signals are everywhere inside a microcontroller. They govern the speed at which the processor executes instructions, the baud rate of serial communication signals, the amount of time needed to perform an analog to digital conversion, and so much more. Clock source can be external like crystal oscillator or internal like RC oscillator. Different microcontrollers will have different options for clocking. All of this clocking action of the clock signal, namely the oscillator. Therefore, you need to make sure that your oscillator can support whatever performance you expect from your microcontroller. How to connect a crystal with microcontroller. Figure shows how to connect a crystal with microcontroller. The capacitor values depend on the mode of the crystal and the selected frequency. Table gives the recommended values. For example, for a 4 MHz crystal frequency, use 15 PF capacitors. Higher capacitance increases the oscillator stability but also increases the start-up time. Mode. Frequency. Capacitor C1 and C2. And its value in PF. LP mode. If frequency is 32 kHz, then the value of the capacitor is 33 PF. If frequency is 200 kHz, then the value of the capacitor is 15 PF. XT mode. If frequency is 200 kHz, then the value of the capacitor is 22 to 68 PF. If frequency is 1 MHz, then the value of the capacitor is 15 PF. If frequency is 4 MHz, then the value of the capacitor is 15 PF. HS mode. If frequency is 4 MHz, then the value of the capacitor is 15 PF. If frequency is 8 MHz, then the value of the capacitor is 15 to 33 PF. If frequency is 20 MHz, then the value of the capacitor is 15 to 33 PF. If frequency is 25 MHz, then the value of the capacitor is 15 to 33 PF. Here is the circuit diagram how we connect external crystal with microcontroller. External crystal connect with OSC1 and OSC2 pins of the microcontroller. These two capacitors are connected with crystal and other side of the capacitors are connected with ground voltage. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And keep watching Star Technology 5G.